Hi guys. So I'm currently in Ayrshire in Scotland, uh, just south of Girvan in a place called Lendlefoot. And um, basically I'm in a very big uh, lay-by stroke beauty spot observation place. I've sort of got to a time of day where I, I need to find somewhere to pitch, ready for something to eat, and uh, I've pulled into here. It's got a busy main road behind, but uh, I'm quite nicely tucked down, as you can see the bike, like a seating area with a picnic bench, and there's plenty of grass areas just there to pitch the tent. If the weather was pretty bad actually you could pitch it down where the bike is but it's not bad it's a beautiful evening and the reason i've decided to stop here apart from the fact i'm sort of running out of time a little bit is uh, that there are one or two other camper vans here uh, i had a chat with them there's no problem parking camping here and if you have a look round behind me this is the view beautiful and the sunset tonight should be extraordinary because it's quite clear so time to get pitched but I'm hungry so I might eat before I film anything okay well I've got my beer haven't eaten yet because I feel so committed to showing you a little bit more about this uh, parking area and uh, but I'd have a beer right so it's just a lay-by but it's quite a, a sort of decent one with quite a few grassy areas so that's the uh, Backdrop. A little bit noisy with the road, but it's just an overnighter, so not too uh, too worried about that. Uh, there's a few motor camper vans. Laurie's just pulled up. He's he's no doubt run out of time, so he needs to find somewhere. And uh, there's lots of little picnic benches here as well. There's also that, and I'll show you that soon so I've got my bike parked in a little uh, lower area flat area there with the picnic bench there and I've pitched the tent there as I've mentioned to you when I was first off if it was really quite not so good weather you could easily pitch down here but for now, because the weather's stunningly good, we're pitched here. And it's a mostly flat area that I've pitched on. There's just a very, very slight slope, but uh, hardly anything. You wouldn't really notice it standing there. And uh, the reason that I've pitched here is because the view that I get from the door of the tent which is there is that and the sun will be setting down somewhere over there so anyway just a lay by but quite a nice one You know, for a quick overnight stop, if you're traveling somewhere, it's ideal, this. Uh, so the, um, where we're currently at is just on the map here, Lendlefoot, you are here. And that's uh, just south of Girvan. And if we look at the bigger map, 
you've got Glasgow, Largs, Irving, Air, and we're down here at Lendlefoot. So that, that coastal road is the A77, basically from Stranra to Air, and then it sort of branches off to Glasgow and then or up the west coast. So it's a, it's a coastal road and it sort of follows the coast most of the way. There's quite a few sandy bays up and down in different locations, but uh, this isn't a particular sandy bit of the coastline. Uh, it's more rocky and uh, actually it's, it's ve very, very nice for that. So A77, if you're traveling up Stranra to Air or to Glasgow or up to the Highlands, or the islands like I've just come from this morning, uh, this will be a cracking good overnighter if you need a pitch. And it's, um, in Scotland you're allowed to uh, wild camp anywhere as long as it doesn't affect local houses, people, and you leave no trace, the usual thing while camping. So it's not like the beautiful location of, that I had on the Isle of Butte, uh, which was a stunning, stunning bay, St Ninian's Bay, and there's a video for that. However, this is a really good one for a transit stop. So in other words, if you're traveling and you need to stop somewhere, this is uh, probably about halfway up uh, the coast. So it's really, really quite useful. So you can see the tent there. I've got a really nice location, which will let me see the sun go until sunset. And the bike's just in the dip below that. Yep, there it is. I can see it there. <laughs> so the bike's in the dip below that. Picnic bench and I've got food ready to go. And I'm going to get on with that very, very shortly. But I think it'd be only fair to give you a quick look at the uh, the coast. So basically the road that I've come from, we're facing north now, comes over that headland. And, uh, and it, it mostly hugs the coast all the way around. Basically right the way up to uh, where I got the ferry to go to the Isle of Butte. And it's a rugged, this bit's a rugged coastline, as you can see with the, uh, the images that we're getting. We're uh, a little bit facing the sun now, which is uh, still quite high. And then in the headland that you see ahead of you, the road goes around that headland. So it's a good coastal road actually, and it's a really good one for motorcycles. Bit of heavy traffic, you know, you do get uh, a lot of HGVs because it's a main road from Stranra north towards Glasgow. But with a bit of luck, that'll die down a little bit as the uh, evening goes on. Although there will be wagons going past here um, through the night as well. Yes, it's a, despite it's just a lay-by and beauty spot, um, it's a really nice location. And actually, it has some historic interest, which as we sort of pan round and look, interestingly, I'm going to tell you all about that monument in a second. But... This huge anchor gives away a little bit what the story is. So what we have here is a monument to the Russian cruiser Ver Variag, V-A-R-Y-A-G, which won glory in the Russo-Japanese War of 1904 to 1905, and it found its last resting place 500 meters 
off the coast where that anchor is that I've just shown you 500 meters off there this ship sank and I'm just reading off the uh, memorial stone it's not a memorial stone actually because nobody died at least I don't think anybody died uh, it says on January 27th 1904 the first rank cruiser Varyag and the gunboat Kuritz were blockaded by a Japanese squadron comprised of 15 vessels at the Korean port of Chemulpo. Now you might wonder what that's got to do with uh, ship sinking here, but it goes on. They were offered the opportunity to surrender and turn down the flag, but the Russian seamen rejected the ultimatum from the Japanese and accepted an uneven battle. The Variag and the Kuritz, as the Russian ships, suffered extensive damage during the battle. With no apparent possibility of continued resistance, the Russian seamen scuttled the ships and returned to Russia on board foreign vessels, so they sank them. In 1905, Variag was raised by the Japanese and was introduced into their navy under the name of Soya. In 1916, the cruiser was purchased by Russia off the Japanese. <laughs> Funny old thing, isn't it, war? And the Russians gave the uh, previous Russian name back to it. In 1917, she was sent to Britain for repair. Uh, but because of the revolution and civil war in Russia, uh, this ship was set adrift. In 1920, the Variag was sold by Britain for scrap. So it, it was here, it was, um, wasn't scuttled, but it was just left adrift. So anyway, the British uh, sold it for scrap. Now en route for dismantling, she grounded on rocks just off this coast at Lendlefoot and subsequently sank. Now the exploits of the cruiser Variag, which makes us bow our heads to the valour of the Russian seamen, will always remain in the memory of a grateful future generation. Yeah, so what a wonderful uh, piece of uh, work that is. I'd love to know more about it. Well, I will find out more about it. And uh, any information I find, I'll put on the information section. But uh, wonderful that. And uh, I really hope that uh, any Russian subscribers know anything about that could let me know more. Now, just to finish off on this site, um, there's no toilets here, there's no water, ah, oh, it is just a, a pull-in. It's a beauty spot really and it's got that memorial. It's a really handy spot to stop over, but as with a lot of wild camping, you've got to make sure that you can deal with the wild camping side of things and leave no trace, leave nothing here. and. Uh, take away your memories. I'll use this place again as a stopover on the way up to uh, the Highlands or the Islands. Um, it's a really good stop off point this. Anyway, it is time to uh, get food and I'm going to go get it now. Thanks a lot guys. Well guys, we're in for a cracking sunset tonight. And it'll not be too long before that uh, comes. Let's have a little look. <laughs> like a good sunset. You can see I've got the sun today. <laughs> it's almost going to set over that uh, island. Wonderful. Anyway, one more beer beckons. Sunset. I'll time it right, and then that's it. I'll probably have an early night.